we're Devin Bree, and this, that's our 39-foot tiny home. Come take a tour of what we've been living in for the past four years. It's currently doubling as our beach house. Let's check it out. All right, guys, come on in. I'm gonna do the traditional van girl wave. Come, come, come. Right at the door, we've already got some pretty cool features. We've got more shoe storage than a homeless shelter over here. We also have a spot here for all of our keys to go in. That way, if you ever break in, you can get everything at once. It's super convenient. That's what we're all about. This bus has more secrets than your ex-wife. One of those secrets is Tillo's litter box right here. It used to be on a drawer slide. That didn't work as well, so now we just have it basically on these like RV clips. It snaps in little cat door for her to go in and out of just built into this recess super smart we also have her food and water on a little slide tuck away when we're traveling and then underneath the driver's seat we have another genius feature and that is that we tapped into our airlines and basically added an air hole an air tool hookup we've used that quite a bit to air up flat tires stuff like that really comes in handy. The secrets continue with our double couch setup that we've got right across from one another because even though this looks like a normal couch setup, this actually turns into a couple different things. Underneath both of our couches, we decided not to waste any space. These are both built over the wheel wells. Underneath we have just tons of storage, really. I'm just kind of threw stuff in there. It's definitely got enough space to hide all your regrets in there. Mostly for me, I just put camera stuff and all my Starlink stuff. On the other side though, I think we've got a pretty cool little secret and that is our table. Nice and hidden, come out just like that. All right, underneath here is our diesel heater. If your girlfriend won't keep you warm, this thing definitely will because it puts out an insane amount of heat. We have survived some harsh, harsh winters because of this thing. Not the only reason though, and I'll show you some other ways that we stay warm in this bus. So to make this thing all work, our little table here does its worst impersonation of a transformer. Kind of flips up into a table area where we can host multiple people, probably comfortably around six. And if you had any friends, this is exactly where you'd hang out and play board games. But since you probably don't, we can transform it into what we like to call lonely mode. Totally kidding, but we do just drop it down. This gives us this really cool like day bed area. We can sleep up here and it also doubles as a guest bed. With that in position, we can move our screen wherever we want it really because it's on this cool mount that kind of zips around. Just sit here and have a great movie night. It has to be one of my favorite spots of the bus. Agreed. Come, come, come. It's only gonna get better from here. If there are any nerds out there, you're gonna sync with me right now because you're gonna enjoy this area. So this is my gaming PC, editing workstation, entertainment system. It's everything rolled into one area and it's something that I would not do bus life without. Here's what we've got a 34 inch ultra wide monitor. We've got this shelf to show off my nerdisms as well as my single plant. That's my plant and it's not doing that well. So that's your fault probably. What? We've um, got a walnut finish. This is actually an oaky wood special. They custom made that, that was awesome. Let's go underneath though because this is where the magic happens. This is an ITX mini gaming PC build. A really strong computer. I won't bore you guys with the details, but it's got a 3070 look, and then I immediately bore you with the details. On the sides, we've got just a whole lot of storage with really cool lights that are all controlled by Google. One other cool feature of this desk, I have a set of thermostatically controlled fans, and if it's really cold, it'll blow the heat onto me, but if it's really hot, I have another fan that points outside, and it'll blow the heat out that way. Let's go to the other side. This is pretty much it. We're currently in Baja, Mexico, so that's why we have these like five gallon water jugs, two of those, because you're just not supposed to drink the water. So, and I think at this point, why don't you take over? Because I just wanted to do the gaming PC, and since I did that, like, I'm pretty happy. So. Oh, sure. Okay. Let me do that. So now we are stepping into what I call the kitchen. Starting right here, we have our Cubic Mini wood burning stove. I absolutely love this thing. It makes for some really cozy winter nights snuggled up by the fire with a hot cup of chocolate or a cup of joe, whatever you prefer. But it's cute, it's small, it warms us out for sure. We have our little wood tools here and then underneath is where we stool. <laughs> <laughs> we do not ah, stool there. We don't stool there. We do not. All of our chopped wood. That's staying in. Over here we have, <laughs> why? <laughs> Over here we have our stove and oven. This is a four burner stove with a vent fan and oven. This is apartment size, which is perfect. I absolutely love cooking on here. Super roomy, spacious. 
Lots of counter space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of it. I like that. Um, we keep our spices. Oh we keep our spices up here, guys. Up here, I'm like, don't even want to show you. But um, gotta show them. This is the mess. This is some more spices, plates, bowls, cups. Look that storage that. is lit, fam. And yeah, lights underneath. Drawers. Drawers. Interesting. Under here, this is actually really cool because Devin built these custom drawers. They're actually really nice. And this gave us vertical storage in here, which we would have never had if he didn't do this. So thank you. Yes, yeah, so we have a toaster, a food processor, all the goodies. On this side, more counter space, lots of it. Full deep sink. We get compliments on our sink all the time, like how big it is. It's really deep, so I love that. That's literally the faucet that every other van lifer has. Yeah. But hey, it works. We're not gonna run the water though, because that's wasteful. Tip outs. Toothbrushes, yes. This is our only sink in the bus. So not only do I wash my dishes here, but I also brush my teeth, wash my face. If you think that's gross, well, I'm sorry. We're not gonna open these though, because this is just like a disaster under there. Well, now you gotta show them. Now they're gonna be curious. Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're doing it. I don't even wanna show oh, you. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I can't even, it's such a mess under there, my brain can't even tell you what's underneath there. Over here, this is an apartment sized freezer and fridge. We have a little lock down here that drives Devin absolutely insane because it's I white hate that thing. and the fridge is black. Yes, we have a microwave. Uh, a lot of people think we're bougie for that. Good old microwave. Pantry, 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 pantry. Trash, don't mistake this for our pantry. Come on back. Come on. This is a bifold door, a very beautiful bifold door. Devin custom built all these doors. I just kind of sent him photos off Pinterest. Ladies, that's what you do. You just Pinterest everything and send it to your husband and then they'll create it for you. Chef's kiss. So bifold door here that separates our front half of the bus from the back half. This is where we step into our living quarters, bunk beds and bedroom. And then on this side, we have our bathroom. Another beautiful custom door. This is a sliding barn door. And then we step into the bathroom. Welcome to the stank. Cause right now it stinks. <laughs> this is a composting toilet. We built our bathroom right next to the emergency exit door. If we wanna clean the composting like really quickly. We just take it out the side door instead of trekking our pee jug and compost through the entire home. Cause yeah, it's nobody also wants to do that. Fully tiled shower. I'm sure we'll get a lot of comments. How's this holding up? Well, we've been in here for four years and still there, solid, no crack. This is a rainfall shower head, Amazon, real cheap. I would recommend something better, yeah. Oh, what's cool though, this reaches outside, showers outside. Comes in handy while we're living on the beach. Um, we, yeah, tiled our own pan as well. That's cool. Over here, this is what we call a bench and um, I can sit here and shave my legs or just sit in, I don't really know what this bench is for. This is a shower curtain that's on a track. Yep. So we can keep the water from splashing out on all of you. What's cool about this bench is it also doubles as storage. This is also a mess. We don't really show people the inside of this thing, but it comes all the way out into the hall. Ooh, it might be a little bit broke right now, I think. So mm, we'll fix that later. Yeah, it is, so fix it. Straight across from our wet bath, we have bunk beds. No, it's not for kids, just for you. You know, if you want to come travel with us, that's cool. We built this for our friends and family only. No kids. No, we Unless don't. Unless our friends and family are kids or have kids. No, we don't have kids. <laughs> My brother traveled with us for a month in the Northeast. That was a lot of fun. Bed's still here, Tanner, if you want to ever come back to it. Super comfortable. Got these uh, mattresses off Amazon. It's like, I don't know, what is this? Four, six inches? Uh, five you tell inches. Me. Five inches? Yeah. Ooh, sweet spot right in the middle. That's I like what she it. Said. But we have USB chargers, plug in, night light for those of you you know, 30% that's scared of the dark. Yeah. So don't worry, you. we got a light for you. We have storage right here. And this is kind of where I had all my clothes that I buy that I don't tell Devin about. Um, <laughs> except you can't see that because those are my undies. You have to pay extra for that. Yep. And then I'm gonna let Devin take over because underneath this bunk is the bottom bunk. Underneath that bottom bunk, we have what I'd like to think is a, a pretty sick electrical setup. We've got 600 amp hours of Dakota lithium batteries. We also have everything else pretty much Victron because I strongly believe in using pretty much the best that you can afford whenever you're talking about safety and electricity. We have a 3000 watt 
24 volt multi plus, which is our inverter. We also have a massive solar charge controller for the 2000 watts of solar that we have up top. I'll give you guys a tiny little tour of that after we're done here. Basically everything you need to survive a zombie apocalypse right here. Maybe exaggerating a tiny bit, but you know. Currently running 1800 of the 2000 watts that we have and we're at 86%. It's exactly what we wanna see. All right, let's keep going back. This is also our final door. Watch out Archie, you don't wanna get your head, buddy. Check that baby out. Really helps separate this area when we do have guests. We've slept up to seven people in this bus. So having doors that close off the space, really nice touch. This is the bedroom. This is the end of the road. Got our utility closet right here. You don't really need to see in there. It looks crappier than your goatee. Let's just leave that alone, okay? Hot water heater, water pump, accumulator, right there. Right here, we have my dog Archie, who is very inconveniently in my way, but I love him so much, I'm just gonna power through and make this thing work. Okay, across from where Archie is, we have our laundry area. We have a massive drawer for all of our dirty clothes, as well as a washer-dryer combo. This thing does both. We can and have done it off-grid, especially if one of the pets, uh, let's be honest, more likely me has an accident, throw it right in there, wash things up. Above that, we just have a bunch of like catch-all storage. Across from that, all of our hanging clothes goes here, and all of our like fold-up clothes that we don't really care about, oh, aren't you careful, goes right here. This drawer does extend all the way out. Finally, this is where the magic happens. This is the bedroom. Underneath this here, we've got tons of storage. You could probably fit a couple bodies in there if you really needed to. We have our 100 gallon water tank, more than enough for us to last like two to three weeks. Since we're hippies, we don't shower that off. That's a joke, calm down. We have our mini split up there, which both heats and cools, which is amazing. Also runs on solar. Like if it was really hot right now, we'd probably have the AC running with like all the stuff closed. Why do I still have my glasses on? We love board game nights with friends. So we've got uh, a board game that exploded open over here. So we'll just ignore that. And then on this side, we have all of our, um, what are they called? Like linens? Yeah. In our headboard, we have this little extra storage. I don't think it looks that good, but it is highly functional. We have like chargers and stuff put in there. Um, we do have a security system, so like, don't f with us. Yeah, see that panic button? F with me, I'll do it. All right, let's do one last thing. Let's give you guys a look at the tip top of the bus. Okay. And everyone just seen my roof off. Here are a couple of the dope features that we have on top of our roof. Track stacking. That's pretty dope. Starlink. Like that. Solar panel. 2,000 watts. Solar panel. Said that. Another solar panel, guys. This is a condenser to our mini split. Um, This thing over here. Oh, we did that's a roof important. raise. We did a roof raise in the bathroom. We forgot to mention that. So our heads wouldn't be touching the ceiling because that's where the bus is curved. So that's the roof. That's it. Yeah, we did it. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the tour. And if you want to support us, here are a few different ways you can. You can like, comment, subscribe. Please hit the bell for the notifications. We also sell our floor plan. So if you really like this bus, go pick that up. But if you're feeling like you're not quite done yet, well, you can click right there to watch Brianna suffer. I left her alone in the bus in the middle of winter. Yeah, he did. It was brutal. Bye.